Hello, my name is Philip and I'm speaking on behalf of Reactor. And now, I'll show you the continuation of the mod, The Trap, which he's developing. It's called The Trap 2 Mind Lock. It will be a game in the genre of puzzles, first-person shooter and a little bit of horror. In general, the puzzles in this mod are of two kinds. First, the puzzles are simple, consisting of two or three elements. They can be passed quickly, and immediately beyond them begins the next room. And there are complex puzzles, in which many elements are used and they are all interrelated. The player must explore them all and make a plan of action. Here is a complex puzzle. OK, let's go ahead and see what we have here. Immediately a door marked exit. There is a kind of glass, probably unbreakable. Actually, I do not trust dark rooms like this. They look suspicious. But let's trust exit and we'll go there and see what happens. Let's see what's in the main hall. Oh, there are so many things. What does this button do? Apparently, it's a kind of portable bomb exploding. Good. Let's blow up this glass here. Excellent. Just try to break that exit glass. But something tells me this will not work. The signal doesn't reach. Let's check, just in case. Yes, it really doesn't work. Well, OK. Let's see what this thing is. This is a switch. We have a lot of elements taken from the trap. The design has changed a lot, but the meaning remains the same. For example, the switch directs energy to various protective fields. Carefully, go a little bit further forward. Here we have another glass door. Obviously, it's also possible to explode portable bombs. This is what we will do. The signal does not reach again. We need to remove the protective field. Yes, it works. Let's see what's inside the corridor. Here we see a barrel. I still have no idea what it's for. Let me position it somewhere. Yes, right here. Let's see that from the other side. It starts a cutscene. We see a pistol. I guess this pistol is valuable as the camera shows it to us. Maybe it will be really handy later on. Obviously it would be okay to jump back on the airflows. Oh my, that was a bad idea. No more jumps. It's obvious that we must somehow remove the glass. Let's try blowing up something else. Yes, 
I see this glass is very strong and it does not explode. In addition, there is another switch. It's not clear what it does because it's not working. There are missing pieces of wire. Let's try blowing something else up. Over there I see some barrels. I see a dark, strange passage. There is a wire. Not bad. Actually, there are a lot of wires in the first trap, but it was not very convenient because due to a lack of an inventory, it was not clear whether you had a wire or not. In the trap two, the wires are transferred to the player's hands, and you always know what you have and what you do not have. In addition, the wire can be broken by accident, which causes the player pain and unusual situations. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist it. So, let's get another wire and solve the problem of the broken chain. So we have repaired the switch. Now it's clear that it switches energy between the fan and the top of the thing that moves the pistol. Let's stop this thing in the required position. All that remains is to jump on the ramp. But we are prevented from doing this by the glass, which killed me last time. I'll leave this piece of the puzzle to you. That's all for today. The planned release date is about 2017. Next time, I'll try to do something more intensive with shooting and some kind of cutscenes. In the coming days, there will be a shocking announcement which will disclose the details of the plot, which is very different from the first part of the story, most of the other circumstances and the other protagonist. The events will not be as predictable as in The Trap One, and there will be something happening all the time. And of course, go to social media to see all of it. There you will find the latest information about the mod, and you will be able to follow the latest news. I do not recommend using just one social media because from time to time exclusive material will be posted on different social media sites. Well, it's time to get back to developing. So from me and Reactor, goodbye!